Hey, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. Today we're going to be changing the string on this Black & Decker cordless trimmer. It's not hard. You can do it. I'm going to show you. Now the Black & Decker cordless string trimmer calls for a string that is 0 0.065 and of an inch thick or 1.7 millimeters. So this is what it calls for. So don't go buying thicker string. Get the proper string that it calls for. I don't have much left here. I have to go get some more, but I'm going to show you how to do it with this little bit of string I have left. It's easy. Okay, we take our string. So the first thing you want to do is on your spool, there's a line. You'll see a groove in here. There's one on each side of the spool. You're going to take your line. You're going to measure out how much line you want to put on. I only have a little bit here, of course, but you're going to place that line right in that groove like that. See like this, not like this because it won't hold. You're going to put it in that groove like this and you're going to hold it with your finger. Now, as you can see the arrow, I don't know if you can see that the arrow is going around clockwise. So you're going to hold that string with your finger here and you're just going to wind it up until the string goes on top of that groove where the line is and it holds the line down for you where it begins. And you're just going to wind it back and forth to, along the spool like this. Now, I don't have a lot of string, so there won't be a lot of winding, but it'll take a little bit of time, but that's no big deal. And that's it right there. Now you're going to leave about five inches of line sticking out because that's what you need. Now we're going to put our spool back into the trimmer head and we're going to run the string through that hole in the side there. And we're going to place the spool back over the shaft. Make sure your string is still in the spool and do it with the writing and the arrow on the top here. And then we're going to, like I say, we're going to, you're going to turn this spool till it falls in its groove. You'll feel it just kind of grab and get into its own groove. And now we're going to replace the orange cap back here into the trimmer head. Just give that a little pull, make sure everything's good. Now that should be good. Now to prove that this works, we're going to try it out. So there you go. That's how you string up your Black & Decker cordless trimmer. And again, be sure to use the 0.065 of an inch string or 1.7 millimeters. I'll put links down in the description below where you can get some delivered right to your door. All you have to do is order it and get delivered right to your door. Now recently I did a review on this Black & Decker cordless trimmer. I'll leave a link at the end of this video where you can go watch that. I've had this cordless trimmer for about four or five years now. It's our go-to trimmer. We have a lot of lawn to cut around here and this is our go-to trimmer. It works well, it's light and it's powerful. You saw it go through those weeds there that I was trimming. This thing is a beast. So if this video helped you, hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe, it helps me out. I appreciate it and we'll see you on the next video.